In today's video, I was challenged to an epic pack battle against GG Vision. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Yu-Gi-Oh! pack battle and this one is against the well-known the legend gg vision we have battled him many many times i feel like i lose every time so hopefully we can turn that around right now we have a package he sent us and i think there's a giveaway inside so let's just go ahead and open it up okay first off we have what seems to be a bunch of packs here there are sleeves from magnificent mavens as if i needed any of these i feel like he's just rubbing it in the fact that i have hundreds of these left now <laughs> we have more okay which those sky striker ones are actually pretty nice okay well this looks like some blisters in here okay we have blister packs we'll go through those in a second oh there's another blister pack power of the elements i found a judgment i didn't find it. i mean i found it in the package i don't really know if that counts as being found but deluxe edition judgment of the light this is a pretty nice product actually pretty exciting we don't open this very often i usually do something like product you've never heard of when we open something like this because i think there was only four of the deluxe editions ever made so they're pretty rare and pretty old at this point so now that we've kind of seen that let's go through the blister packs we have so we have a by the way i found a couple more we have tactical masters we have dimension force uh there seems to be four power of the elements there more tactical masters here one two three more a couple more power of the elements so five power of the elements four tactical masters one dimension force so that makes 10 blister packs and then in here i think we will find the giveaway and potentially a note all right i got it out he uh really taped that thing up so here we have a patreon power pack from gg vision this one is for you okay i was like it's for who just it's just four that's it and then i was like oh i'm covering it up for you I guess that's me. And then for the homies giveaway. So this is the giveaway. Inside, I'm gonna show you what you can potentially get, but this is part of the giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below who will win, me or GG Vision. Make sure to go check out his video after you watch this one and see who pulled better. This is not included, the one I'm about to open because obviously that's for me and he's not opening one of his own power packs. So yeah, take that out of the actual battle part, but consider it when seeing what you can win for your giveaway so naturally before we actually get into the other openings which i haven't showed you all of our loose packs yet there is some good stuff in there let's go ahead and open this up outlaws of white mare here we go let's see what we can get right off the bat a gold rare dark magician not bad here we go we have a welcome labyrinth they're all in penny sleeves so nice and protected i like that red eyes black meteor dragon cyber barrier dragon first edition from shadow of infinity very cool Magic Haribo, a classic. That's pretty awesome. We have a Tri Brigade Shurag, the Ominous Omen. Skyscraper First Edition from Cybernetic Revolution. Tri Brigade Fractal, Normal Summon Baby. We have Albion, the Brandon Dragon. Called by the Grave. Dark Magician Girl from Legend of Duel Season 3, it looks like. Dark Ball to the Terrible Hobby League. True Light for those Blue Eyes cards. Dogmatic Maximus. Number 39, Utopia. Dimensional Fissure, that's a card. Magician's Combination and Dark Arm Dragon, Dragon of Annihilation. That's a pretty nice uh, card out of Armageddon, which had the 10K Dragon. So there's a few nice cards in there. I mean, nothing like crazy high, but there's a lot of solid, like cool old school cards in there. So expect something like that in your Patreon pack if you win. Also, GG Vision wanted me to show you guys a clip that he has coming in his current series. Despite it being maybe 30 seconds since Noah activated the Doomsday Counters, five minutes is somehow already passed in this anti-DBZ time distortion bullshit. This allows Merrick to enter the main computer room where he encounters something very amusing. I think we'll just go to battle. Hmm? What's this? I'm gonna activate breakthrough skill on your construct, and Alex, oh, I'm going Kane burial from a different dimension. <laughs> okay, now for the battle. So I'm actually gonna keep these uh, loose packs a little bit of a surprise. We're gonna start with the blisters. The loose packs have some old school in them. They have some cool recent products, so I'm not gonna ruin that yet. Let's do the one dimension for us. Let's see if I can pull a starlight real quick. So right off the bat, we have a uh, security tag on here. I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt us. That's gonna, well, it's gonna make it harder to open if I open it that way. So we're just gonna open it this way. Definitely gonna make it a little bit more difficult, but maybe that means there's a starlight right they want somebody to steal it one two three four here we go guys gg vision battle let's beat them let's see what we can get we have pendulum scale colonel on c string omega judgment al ghoul symphonic warrior we have vlan hydra reverse jar uh ichiroku's ledger book 
and the zombie reborn super rare right off the bat okay our favorite set ever tactical masters which i mean we we seem to be opening this non-stop i will say the blisters on this look absolutely incredible though look at them i mean that looks nice that is some old school looking stuff even though it's not old school it's very new actually not very new but it is new we have droll that's that's good that's like i think three four dollars we'll take that that's really good runic okay runic flash and fire so yeah Right off the bat, I mean, we started off with a great rare. We're going to be looking for more of those as we go because we do have a few more Tactical Masters. If we can get more Drolls, we are going to be happy because those can add a little bit of value to our opening. We're going to have a total value of what we pull up on the screen as well. So, so far, it's not too high. It's Droll and Lockbird, and that's really it. <laughs> we have Runic Smiting, Runic Flashing Fire. Still can look for that Droll. No, not that time. All right, a couple more Tactical Masters. Then we have some Power of the Elements, potential uh, DPE Starlight. We opened a lot of that when it came out. We got that DPE Starlight eventually. Come on, we have a Scion, the Valence Archer, Pendulum Fusion, Runic Freezing Curses. Okay, on to the Rare Hunting. No, not that time. One more. Can we get a second Droll? Can we get an Ultra? Can we get a Collector Rare? I know it's not my favorite setup. Three Ultras per box. Not that likely to actually get something, but Drolls are rare. Let's hope for that. Pendulum, come on. Oh, okay. Nothing in the uh, foil slot. Lewis Alliance. We did get one droll. I can't complain. We got one droll. So we've gotten something so far. Now, Pote, I don't really know what's held up well out of this set. I mean, obviously, DP Starlight would be cool, but super hard to pull. Outside of the Starlights, I'm sure something is decent, but I don't know what it would be off the top of my head. Double Dust Tornado Twins. My city got hit by tornadoes recently, so that's <laughs> that's not great. And not great to see. Fortunately, we were not hit personally, but a lot of people were, so keep them in your prayers. We have Venus Slip, we have Morphtronic, and Punk Jam. All right. A few more packs A Power of the Elements. Can we get something good? Something awesome? One, two, three, four. Can we get a Starlight Rare? We have a Moki Moki Adrift. Sprite Pixies. Melfi. Branded. Hydrolander. Orbit. Tier Elements. Havness. Mary. Maze Attraction and Elemental Hero, Spirit of Neo. So I wonder how well the Sprite stuff is doing right now. I know they're not as popular now as they were originally, but I'm guessing Sprite. So wait, were there six Power of the Elements packs? Maybe there was six. I said five. I think there was six because we have four left. We go open two. Okay, let's see, Pote. One, two, three, four. Can you... Sprite Carrot, get something good. Brilliant Rose. Nightmill. Goatee Chain. We have Venus Lift. Ravenous Vindred. Crawler. Mary, Ian Wave. Wow, we have not hit a single anything yet. I mean, Droll is our best pull. A regular rare, which is basically a common. Has some edgeware, too. All right, all right. Three packs left before we get to the... I think we'll do the Deluxe Edition and then the Loose Packs, because the Loose Packs have some potential to be pretty awesome. Pote First Edition. This was such a fun set when it came out. There's some great cards inside. One, two, three, four. Still a pretty awesome set. Sprite Carrot came out 2022. Dark Bonder, so all, over a year ago at this point. Venus Lift, we have Branded Expulsion, Ravenous Vindred, Gungatsu Ship Shari Red. Oh, there we go. Secret Rare, Kurakari, Divin Karn. Carnate, Carnate, Demon Carnate? I would say Demon Carnate is probably right. I always just say Demon Carte. That's definitely not right. Demon Carnate. Okay. Our first big pull of the day. I'll take that. I don't remember if that one got a reprint. It probably did in like a Mega Ten or something. So that probably hurt it. But if it didn't, I don't recall the reprint. So maybe it didn't happen, but I'm probably wrong. We can pop up on the screen, you know, when it actually got reprinted. Or maybe it never did. We have Dust, Double Dust Tornado. We have a scan. We have Crime. Melfi's. Havness, Vanguard, Thawing, and a Sprite Elf. Wow. I think this is the one that got banned, right? This card was crazy good. Yeah, I played it on Master Duel for a while, so I do know this card is really, really good. I think it got banned in the TCG, so probably not valuable right now, but if it ever came back, it could be worth something. I'm probably saying that, and I'm probably thinking of the wrong card, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the one that got banned because I there was another one that was in the TCG that hadn't come out in Master Duel yet. That was also a link I'm trying to think of. One, two, three, four can't remember so i could be wrong and it could have been that one but uh it's a good card either way we have a uh, goatee we have ice jade we have gamer people people love when i say goatee we have flower buds i don't know what oh wait they didn't ban gigantic sprite did they maybe they put it to like two or one probably not two because they usually don't put anything to two i can't remember now now i'm confusing myself but those pools are actually cracked we got sprite elf sp gigantic sprite and the uh Demon Carne, Tyree say that card. Wow, that is uh that's a pretty good opening. Started really slow. We really heated up there. It was like the last three packs all had all that stuff. So let's get this uh judgment of the light opened up. Hey, what do you guys think about this knife? Let me know in the in the comments. You guys never comment about my knives. I'm sure you guys will gladly 
Let me know. Okay, here we go. We have Judgment of the Light. Here we go. How do you open these again? Oh, yeah, because there's this, and then inside, there's the little box, like the... Yeah, the special edition, which honestly, way, way better packaging than they have on the Pokemon one, because they have these little cardboard things that hold them up on the Pokemon one, and then when you take them away, it's kind of weird. So, yeah, you can't actually fit it back in the sleeve. I do love these little boxes, though. They're really nice for, like, storage, which I have a lot of them now, but this one's a little bit taller than the Pokemon one, a little bit skinnier. Okay, inside we have some sleeves to go with our Magnificent Mavens. We have a little Judgment of Light Deluxe Edition Beginner's Guide. This is not going to help us in the battle because we're all, <laughs> we're both going to be getting these. Then we have what looks like the packs and a promo pack here, so... I don't think there's anything too crazy in these. I've opened these a couple times. And then we have, I think, nine packs here. Three, six, nine. Yep. Okay. So, Chicolates potential. Just saying. Okay, Chicolates. It's your time to shine against GG Vision. Whoever pulls more, chi more Chicolates wins. I'm declaring that right now. More Chicolates, you win. Can we get a Ghost Rare? I did pull a Ghost Rare Star Eater out of one of these ones. These yeah, deluxe editions. I would love to do that again. Fencing Fire Ferret. We have Bajingi Ward. Spell Recycler. Hollard. We have the Crane. Umber Horror. You unform, not uniform, unform. Okay. Star Eater Ultimate Unlimited, I might still need. I feel like I might need that. One, two, three. I think that was right. We have a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Caribou. Umber Horror Unform. Landing. Recycler. Cheep, cheep, cheep. We have Revenge Shuffle. Fire Ferret. Underworld Fighter Balmung. And the Calibrator. Watch out, he'll calibrate you. Few packs of Judgment of the Light. Will they bless us? Not a single chick of lattes yet. Not good for our chances. Calibrator. Kujakad Gachu Aku. I don't know. Super Defense Robot Elephant. Umber Horror Willow the Wisp. Ooh, watch out. It's gonna burn you. We have the Sword. Robot. Umber Horror Ghoul. The Mecha Phantom Beast. Walurun. Walurun. And a Bujin Fidel. The Bujin Fidel. Stop him. Still a few packs left. We could still get Chicolate, so I'm not too worried. We have Ice Princess, Zeroort, Reversal, Seraph Scout, Robot Leo, Sonic Boom, Yellow Dustin. Yellow Dustin's creepy. Bajini Turtle. We have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Boar, and. Ooh, a Herald of the Pure Light. All right. A foil has been pulled. I feel like this is a good one. Sometimes the pure light stuff's good, sometimes it's worthless. I think that's a good one, but I could be wrong. Five packs left. First four, we've gotten one foil. Not bad. We got hot in the last three packs of Power of the, Power of the Elements. We can do it here with Judgment of the Light as well. Let's do it. Seize Agent. Shark Caesar. Rux and Special. Bujingi Turtle. Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. Bujin... Bujingi. Ophidia. Armageddon Designator. Archfiend Cavalry. And the Bujingi Wolf. Okay. All right. Four packs left. One, two, three. All right. Bujin Fidel. Shark Caesar. Swartz Child. Limit Dragon. Probably don't say it like that, but I tried. Star Seraph Sage. Regalia. Sargasso Lighthouse. We have Traptrix Mermelio. And a Mecha Phantom Beast. Arrows Gwyn. Arrows Gwyn. A Rose Gwyn. But guess what, guys? No Chicolantes yet. Ultra Rare. We'll take it. Three left. We have XC's Agent. Kuji Kaji Kuji Kaji Kuji Colt Wing. Okay, we have Will O Wisp. Robot Leo. Star Seraph. Super Defense Robot. Traptrix Atrax. And the atmosphere. Ooh, watch out. Judgment of the light. The atmosphere. What is going on? One, two, three. Here we go. Star Seraph Sword. Right now, if GG pulls one chick a latte, so he's going to be beating us. That's not good. Vertical landing. Googly eyes, drum dragon. Umber Horror. Bujingi Warg. Ophidion. Archfiend Eris. Vain Betrayer. Okay, one more back. Chick a lattes! Where are you? And no, I'm not talking about you, Scooby Doo. Come on. Judgment, Deluxe Edition of the Judgment has not been great. Flying C, come on, Star Seraph Sword, here we go. Spell Recycler, Googly Eyes, oh no, same, same commons. Oh no, oh no! Ooh, a foil, okay, Miss Bird Colossa, Colossalos. We at least got a foil, so we got three foils, two supers, one ultra. Not a single Chicolates, though. All right, editor, time to cut out where I said uh, that we would lose if we pulled no Chicolates, because obviously we can't leave that in the video because we didn't pull a single one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, don't cut that out. Here we go. Here are our packs. These are upside down, a lot of them. This is what we got. If you can guess what these are, I mean, there, there's a little hints at the beginning of the names, but there's some good stuff. Let's open Mavens. Have not opened Mavens. That's where the sleeves came from. I think he just cracked the boxes so he'd save on shipping. Makes sense. Uh, I haven't opened this in a very long time since last year. We have Dark Necro. Let's see what we can get here. Ultras, Witchcrafter, Shadow Imprisoning, Cash Shark, and Engage. I don't know what's money in here. It's been so long since we've opened this. Obviously, Secret Pharaoh Rares are really nice. Uh, if we can get those. We would love it. We have Evenly Matched. That's probably pretty good, except that got all the prints, right, in the uh, rarity, so probably not anymore. We have Sword Soul. 
and uh, Instant Fusion. So many good cards in here as well. This is Rarity Collection, but without all the cool rarities. It just has one cool rarity. Technically, too, with the Ultra Rare, Ultra Pharaohs, but also with that, those were like only European mostly, and then like we got the secret, so it's kind of just one. Onibamaru, Soul Sweeper. We have Elder Incidentis and Sword Soul, Supreme Sovereign, Cheng Ying. So far, a lot of great cards. Uh, I'm gonna have to be looking at these prices though. I really don't know what Magnificent Mavens can do for us. Witchcrafter, I'm sure there's some good cards at this point. Sure, Nui. And Sword Soul Strategist, Long Yan. That guy's a strategist for sure. GG Vision probably got a good chance to beat us right now because it's been, uh, other than that one little, okay. Widow Anchor's pretty good. Shizuku's pretty good. Other than that little stretch with Pote, it's been a little rough. We have Skill Drain. We have Yuna'ana. Foolish Return. Scapegoat. An exchange of the spirit. Two packs left. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow. Sky Striker Ace Zeke. Therion. Dragon Maid. Sky Striker Ace. Sky Striker Ace. Shizuku. Okay, there we go. <sighs> change of Heart. Witchcrafter. Light Imprisoning Mirror. Sky Striker, Mega Shark Cannon, Witchcrafter Creation. I mean, those all felt okay, but we, I don't know. It just feels weird when it's all ultras. You're like, I'm not sure if that was good or not. And now that a lot of those have seen like reprints recently in Rarity Collection, I feel like it's not as good as it once was. Okay, Legacy of the Valiant. All right, first edition. That's a, a nice pack right there. We could get a Ghost Rare maybe? Maybe? I'd be down for that. One, two, three. I probably need this in first ed Ghost Rare, so that'd be cool. Or Ultra or Ultimate, one of them. We have, I don't even know which... Which ghost is this? I don't even know. Laval. I don't even know. Not sure. Overlay booster. We have Sylvan. Let's just pull it and then I'll know. Sword Soul. We have Mummy. Gravekeeper. Ghost Rick Delahan. And uh, Sylvan Blessing. Okay. We tried. No Ghost Rare, but we definitely tried. Sword Soul. Not Sword Soul. Shadow Specters. No Sword Soul. One, two, three. Let's go, baby. Magic Clouds Dust on. Ghost Rick. Ghost Rick. Battle and Boxer Rabbit Puncher. Mythic Water Dragon. Mira. Ghost Rick. A lot of Ghost Trick. We have Secret Sanctuary, the Spellcasters, and Kid Moto Dragon, the Duel Link Special. And speaking of, I'm back on Duel Links, guys. I've been playing a little uh, little Rush Duel, grinding my characters. I already have them all maxed out because I missed the two event characters. So I just have the four basic ones. They only go to level 20, so it takes two seconds to level them up. But yeah, I'm back on that. There's like a million worlds now. I didn't really play a lot of Arc V when that came out, so I'm grinding up those characters now. But yeah, back on Duel Links, expect more references. We need some Rush Duel English cards, though. That's all I'm saying. I would like to open some of that, especially if it gets to English. Because uh, Rush Duel is cool, actually. Secret Sanctuary and Night Day Greffer. Very cool. It's super fun. Like, it's just very, like, casual. You just throw down a bunch of cards. You draw, like, five, you know, if you play all your cards. That's really cool. I mean, I don't know how well it's doing overall, but I think it's really fun. One, two, three, four. No, three. No, four. We have Pump Princess. Oh, watch out. Malice Sever is four. Mega Phantom. Big win. Soul Drain. Vampire Kingdom. Battle and Boxer, Burst Rebirth. And an ultimate rare, Bujente Kagasuchi. Very nice. All right. I'm not going to complain about that one. An ultimate rare out of Shadow Specters. Unlimited, but still really, really cool. More stuff. So, two foils out of these Shadow Specters. That's really not bad. Okay, guys. Shadow Specter. It looks like we have a original Invasion of Chaos over there. Unlimited. That's pretty fun. Let's see if we can get a ghost now to end these Shadow Specters. White Dragon Viper Buster. Graffer. Sacred Servants, Vampire Kingdom, Rabbit Puncher, Mythic Water Dragon, Mira, Swarm of Crows, and the Mythic Tree Dragon. Okay, an ulti. We can't complain out of those. Few packs left against GG. I mean, we probably aren't, we're probably like not doing great overall. We're doing okay. We got the ulti. That definitely helps. You know what? That's an original. Let's open this 2017 first. Let's do that. GG's probably going to be ahead of us if we don't pull something bigger. So if this is 2017, we can go like that. Okay, we have Spatial Collapse. Let's get CED. I can't pull this card. Lord Poison, Thunder Crash, Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! We have a Yellow Luster Shield, Inferno, Ryakoki, Mad Dog of Darkness, and Dimension Distortion. That is not going to do it there. Let's open these 2017s before the original IOC. 2017 DCR. Let's get both a Tsukiyomi in the rare slot and a Foil in the other hollow slot. Agito. Agito. We have Shooting Star Bone, Gaki Iron Panda, Marin, Dice Reroll, Sasuke Samurai, Trice, or Skill Drain. I didn't say Skill Drain this time. Of course, we pull it. And... Okay, we still got a skill drain, though. That's not bad. Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. That used to be a $10 rare, even in Unlimited. Spell Ruler. This is, looks like a 2010 pack. Okay, I got to remember all the ways to tell. This is definitely, obviously, after 2002, 2000... Well, 2003, the change. So, 2002. 
Then you look here. No, no, 2002 logo. You look here. It's got that red banner. So you're like, okay, it's not 2013, not 2017. So we're up to 2004 to 2010. Then it's a little bit shinier like this, which tells me it's 2010. And I think there's something to do with the logo too. And then probably something else too. Cause people will be like, how'd you forget? Yeah, six plus years, I think is a big one. So I think that means it's 2010. Yeah, so this is almost guaranteed a 2010 legendary collection binder copy. We've sussed it out guys. We did it once. I'm gonna do three cause I don't remember the pack trick on the 2010 packs. I've been opened a lot of these. Giant Turtle, Ancient One, Octo Bursher. We have Grotto, Snake Fang, Mystic Plasma Zone, Horn of Light, Mother Grizzly, and a Ceremonial Bell. Okay, at least we knew when the pack was from. <laughs> Two packs left. I believe this is like a 2004. It could be maybe a 2007 Force of the Breaker, but it says six plus years too. Wait, maybe this is a two. This might be a 2010 as well. It says six plus years. Maybe not an original. Maybe it is a 2010. Sometimes it can be hard to tell those. Unless you know that it's six plus years, and then you, it's not as hard to tell. Okay, I'm gonna do three from the back. I think that works. Self destruct button. Rux and special. Manchu, our old friend. Freen Sand Mirror. Heart of the Underdog. These are hard to pull without Rux and special. And Balloon, Lizard, Shellfish, Aiza, Katsufuma, Neobug. All right, final pack. This is definitely an original because it's Dark Revelation Volume 1, and there's no like reprints of this. I think you can get Exodia Necross in here. For some reason, they didn't put Dark Magician Girl in, in Dark Revelation, which was a crime. I mean, we could have a really awesome print of that, too. Even though it'd probably just be another like Secret or Ultra, which we already had anyway. So I don't know a pack trick, so I'm just going to go straight. It could be at the very front. So this could be anticlimactic. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also go check out GG Visions to see who pulled better. I think he could beat us, but we didn't do bad. So we definitely could win. Let's find out if we get something big here. Okay, that's not right there. That's good. We have Deathstroke Archfiend, Ojama Green, Good Maju, or Great Maju Garzette, Burning Beast, Despair from the Dark. I can't pull the cards. Remove Brainwashing, Servant Strategy should be coming up soon. Sakuretsu Armor, Pandemonium. Okay, so it is at the beginning of each set. So it's like magic cards or spell cards, trap cards, and then monster so it could have been at the very front but we had a spell card rare so that's why it wasn't shout out to gg vision for the battle and uh i hope i beat you shout out to tome Fo show daxter puffins of doom ernesto diana america deutster leo gwine 62 brad kk beats ananda taisho ian musa junior barding robert f thomas mclean changalang and joey castle thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace